Mufasa, and I just thankfully took off my thing before you guys could see it. My scrunchie it looks like a small furry animal. Like, I, I, I get the scrunchie face, but it's, it doesn't work for me, and I have my hair just gets so tangled into it, and it just, it is not a pretty sight. Like, if you were in my house, you'd be like, there's living creatures on the floor. It's bad. Good morning, Jordan Arthur, and welcome to my channel. So, it has been a few days since I have just filmed in general. So, we are just going to get ready today, chat about life, and, you know, nothing too serious. Just, just chit-chat, play with makeup, get ready, and relax and hang out. Like, grab some food, do your makeup with me. Whatever you want to do. Whatever floats your boat, you do that. But, let's go ahead and get into this video. Please don't forget to subscribe before we get started. I really missed you guys. And let's go ahead and jump into this video. Okay, so I already have my face primed um, with foundation. I'm trying to decide this is the Tinty Dole. I'm like, is that a spot? I'm trying out the Tinty Dole like foundation. I feel like that's one that everyone always like talks about. So I got the slant bowl and we're testing it out. But I feel like I have some some spotage here, right? Am I crazy or is that just the light? I don't know. Anyways. Let's get on with it. So I'm going to use the Jeffree Star um, Alien Palette. I almost forgot what it was called and I was like, bell. Bell went off my head. Light bulb. So um, I'm just going to kind of do my makeup today and use old products. So I'm not going to like completely walk through it. I guess it could. It has the names on it. We always complain about that. So okay. I'm going to start off with my mustard shade because you know I have to. So I'm going to start off with Martian Soil. <sighs> it feels good to like sit down and film. It's been a minute. Like I'm not usually this far behind on filming, but I don't, I should start like pre-recording. But this week my, we went over to my husband, rolled his ankle essentially is what happened. Uh, we went over to my parents' house on Saturday or on Sunday and he's playing basketball with the kids because my, it was my, uh, she's my sister. I always feel weird though calling my parents. I've talked about this before, but my parents adopted kids. Um, and they're just so much younger. Like she turned nine. So I feel more like an aunt, but my mom would not let us be called that. So yeah, but it was her birthday and that was fun. But like I saw him playing basketball and I saw him land and I'm just like, you could tell by his face, like something went wrong. Like he was just not good. And then he walks over a few minutes later and he's like, my ankle and it was like the size of an orange and I'm just like oh my gosh he's been doing so good like actually working out with me consistently and working on his legs which never used to happen and now I'm just like oh why so he didn't go to work for the last few days he worked from home and when he's home I just I can't film I can't do it I'm just I don't know what it is I just uh, it's like I knowing that he can hear me freaks me out and then I feel like I'm like super quiet and just not myself when I'm filming. I'm just kind of like, oh, please. Like, I don't, I know he's not peeking through the door, but like, it just, I feel like that. I already feel crazy enough by myself and I'm just completely comfortable now talking to myself. But when I feel like someone else is like listening to me talk to myself, like I'm not a, uh, I don't sing in the shower or anything. I'm not that, that kind of person. I just don't, I don't know. So yeah, he's been home for the last few days. So that's why I did not feed him. I should have brought my water up here. I'm just like, Ugh. but whatever. So I did see the new Jeffree Star palette that's coming out. And you guys know I don't like blue, but for some reason, I'm still like, but I want that. <laughs> and it makes no sense, but I've been on such a no makeup buy lately. And not just because I'm like, oh, I'm trying to save money. It's just even more so like nothing has really intrigued me where I feel like you have to say like his palettes are just uniquely like put together that I'm just like, but I could like it. I do love my mint greens and it has mint green and it has a few pastel pinks. I just don't know about the blues. Uh, so I'm, I'm on the fence still, but I'm still I'm probably going to do it. Oh, shame. Shame on me. But we'll see. Maybe it'll be a really nice surprise and I'll end up loving it or force myself to start wearing blue makeup. I don't know. All right. We're not going to do a crazy look because I need to film after this and I'm going to do a try on haul and I'm just like, 
I don't want to look too crazy, you know? Not like it matters, but it does to me. So, and I still have to go to the gym. That's another reason. I've been a hot mess lately. Like my hair, I've told you guys, my hair is super curly. I got this comment that like really cracked me up. This is the only thing about this palette. I love the shades in here, but I wish, I still feel, I feel like every single palette, I'm like, I still need a brown. I still need something to deepen up the crease. And I don't feel like I have it in this. Like, I'm just like, I don't want to deepen it up with the grays. So, what else do we have on the desk? I'm going to take my bronzer. Yes. All right, so I'm going to take this Anastasia bronzer and saddle and deepen up the crease a little bit more. Just a little touch. Um, what was I saying? I get so distracted. Oh, this girl. <laughs> so I get comments a lot on my hair, and it's generally that they always love the wigs way more than they like my hair, which they'll be like, your your brown hair is okay, but, the <laughs> but these wigs are so much better. And I'm just like, I agree. I agree 100%. If I could dye my hair that red color, oh, it'd be so nice. But I've tried to do that, and I used to have a really deep, like, purpley, like, brown. And I, oh, I love that color. But just the process, I'm too lazy to get my hair done. Um, and not even just done. I'm just, I'm just lazy when it comes to, like, actually getting my hair done or even, like, doing it myself. That, And it gets damaged super easy because my hair is so dry um, that I just, I just choose not to do it and those colors just don't last long enough to make me want to actually try to do it so yeah but yeah it just cracked me up that she was just like you're th this looks so much better than what your natural hair does so I'm like I know but also wigs are hot <laughs> like it is now in the 80s here in Arizona and I'm just like oh, I need to breathe like we don't have our AC on yet and I'm like starting to feel it like it's a, it's like 79 ish in our house and i'm just especially underneath these lights uh, and i got a pool between my boobs so i'm gonna use this really white shade called pluto and we're just gonna take that on the lid i will say i didn't think i was gonna use this palette as much as i do and i use this one quite a bit like i don't feel like you can tell when you look at it but i promise i have been and then this week i just went through a lull where i was like I don't feel like wearing makeup every day. Um, not like I ever wore makeup every day, but like I just didn't have that like thing where I was just like, oh, I feel like doing my makeup. Like I just did not. I was just like between the sweat, work is finally picking up. Thank the Lord. Oh, I've been really stressed out about that. So I'm really happy that it's starting to finally like come together. Thank God. So that's been really nice. Just like a nice peace of mind, you know, like positive as I try to be, there's definitely times where I'm just like, what am I gonna do with myself? Okay, and then I'm gonna take Interstellar between those two shades, like between the Alta Crease. I'm just gonna kind of stamp this in the middle. It's more like a champagne, whereas the other one is like a really nice white. But I don't feel like I've really missed out on much. I feel like there's been... Let's see, like the ABH Riviera palette, I feel like has been everywhere. And I'm not, I'm still not like, I'm surprised. I've stayed strong. I've stayed strong. Be proud of me. Um, where I haven't bought anything. And even though I, I still was like with the Natasha Denona Biva palette, like I was scared to watch any reviews because I was like, then I'm going to want to get it and it's going to be a whole thing. But no, none of the reviews really made me like want to actually get it. So I was actually really happy. So it's like, I cannot afford to get it. Okay, so now I'm going to take this, what is this? This is the Pixie by Petra uh, Lina. I think it's Sienna. Yeah. So these are super creamy, which I don't mind. They didn't make my eyes any more red than they usually are. I feel like, like right now my eyes are pretty clear and you guys will see them turn red. Which is also something I always say in videos. Like my eyes are just super sensitive and it is what it is. Um, but I got a lot of comments lately where it's just like, you must be a drug addict and all this other stuff. And like, I'm just kind of like, you don't know me. <laughs> like, I don't know where that comes from. Not that it really makes me angry, but like, just considering I did have a family member, like where I talked about that I went through a really hard time this year with rehab and stuff. And then to have people be like, you must be on drugs 24 seven because your eyes are always bloodshot and that's just not normal. I'm like, 
okay well there's not much i can do so there are my eyes all right i'm just gonna wipe this off i did do lashes today yay every once in a while i just need to remind myself why i don't like them that much and about two minutes into the application i was like this is why one eye always goes on great and then the other one is just there to make me upset so uh yeah definitely uh i haven't missed them at all oh my god i could do this forever this is the wayne Goss. this is like the squirrel one and it feels so nice in my face i just i could do this and feel so relaxed i'm gonna stop being weird and continue on so let's see here for contour i'm gonna do this wet and wild where's walnut and see how these works i have not used this before so you will see i think it's like amy macedo always talks about this one and i was like oh oh i'm so happy when i start to finally like now that i've started my weight's going down my my chin is coming down i'm like i don't need as much anymore that's nice so i'm very happy about that very happy happy and hungry but still happy um what else is going on oh did i say what these are these are doll face house of lashes by the way i don't i don't like thinner bands for some reason thinner bands take me way longer to do than the thicker ones i don't like it so that's just my thing i need to try other lashes from them these were just on sale so maybe all of theirs aren't like that if you have a good recommendation for the ones a year i put on lashes let me know but i think flutter is like my favorite in terms of like getting them on with ease and liking the way that they look and like yeah and i'm trying new lash glue so maybe that will help too we will see oh my nose is running so bad this is what happens when i do like foundation after a while it just my nose just does not i don't know what it is but yeah it's always when i have a full face of makeup on that my nose does this to me Savatosh. i've been watching so i love the podcast cereal and i'm kind of upset though they did they're doing an hbo documentary on it and like his updated case and just you know because the podcast came out such a long time ago that there's been like new developments and all this other stuff supposedly that like settled into my crevices such a gross word crevices okay not bad all right so we're gonna use this anastasia saddle bronzer um but so far on hbo it's been so boring like pains like i'm just like like i get the first episode was like going over the whole case and like what happened so i kind of understood that part of it where i was like okay they're getting people that have never watched this whoa um you know the whole background story but even with that i'm just like it's not like grabbing me like usual documentaries do i'm just kind of like what is happening like i don't i don't know i don't like it i feel like they did a great job on the michael jackson one and now i'm on this one and i'm like tell me something i don't know here you know like I'm, it's the second episode already and even my husband was like really interested in watching it and he's just like this is boring and i'm like i know i know i don't know what's going on and it's someone's real life so i feel bad saying like it's boring but i just this podcast was like so good that i'm just like what are, I thought it would be better visually seeing it and it's just it hasn't really been that it's been nothing it, it gives me no emotion nothing just that's what happens I don't know have you guys watched it and then what else have we watched we've been super into blacklist I told you guys this a while ago we are now like caught up to where it's just on tv so we have to like find those episodes <sighs> still do not ruin anything for me I will not ruin anything for you, but I'm still like super in love with that show. We've we've been watching that like nonstop. That's been like our whole thing lately. But does anyone else when you watch like crime shows like that, I all of a sudden like feel alright, so at least my hair is gonna cover this up. I don't know why it's not blending as well as I want it to up here. But or maybe it's just the light coming down on it. Yeah, it doesn't look like that in person. So I'm gonna say it's the lighting. See? Fine. Problem, but fine here. So yeah, that's just the shadow, I think, over my head. I don't know what's happening. 
and my hair will cover it so it's okay but what I was gonna say though was like <laughs> every time I watch shows like that and I go out in public I automatically like feel like my life is in the show and someone's gonna come up and attack me and I need to be ready or just like weird stuff like that where I'm just like I'm gonna get arrested right now and I'm just like I've done nothing you know what I mean I just I automatically I'm just like I'm gonna be captured I need to lock the door like at work lately at night I'm like lock the doors you're here by yourself like someone's gonna come in or like dodge this don't don't make contact like I'm ridiculous like it gets in my mind and I'm just like is anyone following you is anyone following okay for blush we're gonna use this paradise enchanted l'oreal blush brush just give my cheeks a little bitchiness but yeah that's pretty much it the bachelorette was very disappointing I hated this season and um I really don't want to watch Hannah on the next season like I'm really upset with the whole bachelor nation right now I don't I don't understand the thought process behind picking her like I'm just I don't like people that smile when they're not happy and like she is all smiles all the time even when she was like wanting to cry she was still smiling and I was like I don't trust people like that like I just I don't like it okay so for highlight we are gonna use this really pretty wet and wild I've been in love with this like this I've been wearing every day I may not wear makeup every day but I wear like concealer and mascara and some highlights so this is bloom time it's so pretty it looks really pink in the pan it almost reminds me of like Natasha Denona duo glows because it is kind of like a duo glow highlight but woo! look at that all right I think for the under eyes I'm going to take the gravity shade in this I don't know I think it's going to turn up really light but I want the eyeliner to like kind of just stand out on its own so I'm trying to think of anything else to talk about then I'm like did we do anything interesting and I'm just like my whole life right now it revolves around where we eat all right so we're gonna take the shade ufo just to give my eyes a little pop of something so so much for going natural like for me this is still not a natural look i feel like it's a natural look for a lot of people but like this is still like a full ordeal for me so we're gonna take that gold but yeah let me know what videos you guys want to see i know i say that all the time but you guys don't really give recommendations and i need them so please comment down below um i don't like i said like i don't i don't feel like people are that interested in i could talk about food and training and stuff like that all day but like a lot of makeup stuff i just feel like i like what i like i'm not like i said i haven't been buying new products i don't really have like new stuff to talk about and so then I just feel like I'm boring, you know what I mean? Like I did that lipstick video and I was like, I love those, but I didn't feel like a lot of you guys did. So please let me know what you guys want to see. I thought about doing like a series, like my top five, like favorite bronzers, favorite highlighters, like stuff like that. But I didn't know if you guys would be into that or not. So please give me your feedback and let me know or if there's certain colors you want me to use like we can do a purple eye look or a pink eye look or you know any color of the rainbow all right lastly i'm gonna use this nova lipstick from kylie i use spice lip liner i did it in the bathroom when i was waiting for my eyelash glue to dry because you know multitasking and because i didn't want to get it out of the bathroom and forget to leave it in here in this cluster of a room I really need to clear this room out it's just it's a little bit of a mess but it's like one of those messes that you look at and you just shut the door it's that kind of mess like I'm not proud all right hair done mission accomplished look at this thing I was cooking and I'm just like does anyone I don't notice burns when I'm cooking like I just I can feel it and it's it like stings a little bit but I just I don't even think anything of it like I'm just kind of like oh food and you know and then the next day I'm just my husband was just like oh my gosh she's like that's bad and I'm like I don't remember and then of course I like tore the skin off because I was playing with the dogs I have so many scars everywhere and I'm just like be more careful I don't understand all right anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video i just missed talking to you so i just kind of wanted to play with makeup and uh chat and all that good stuff so i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you give it a thumbs up 
and that you subscribe before you leave. I really appreciate you guys. Please let me know down below what you guys would like to see next. I really appreciate your recommendations. I'm here to communicate with you. So definitely leave a comment down below and I'll see you guys in the next video.